Hello everyone, my name is Tiffany, I'm the Tipsy Artist. Today we are painting this adorable Santa sloth. Um, this is one of my paintings from one of, uh, I have a fine art collection as well on my website, at tipsyartist.com. So, and I decided, you know what, let's turn him into a class too. So we've already done this once in a live in studio class. It went very well and we had great results. And so then I added him to a kit and we're gonna go ahead and do that today too. So. He's so cute. I just love his little personality. And we've made him very easy for y'all. So I'm going to have this nearby to reference. And then for y'all, things to be. Hold on. Pardon me. I'm going to move that over there so I can see it while I paint. And then I've got the traceable here for y'all. So this comes with your painting kit and all your supplies. We're gonna shift camera views here in a second. We're gonna go through the entire tracing process, but this is how you set it up to begin with. So we have our line art and we have our transfer paper, which is just centered. You wanna make sure that the dull gray side faces up and the shiny black side, which makes the transfer to the canvas, you wanna make sure that's facing the canvas. So. We're all good to go. And I'm gonna go ahead and place this over here to the side. And we're in our sunroom today and it is a gorgeous, I think it's like 73 degrees in November. So it's crazy, but we love it. We're just having a great time. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch camera views here. All right. Getting set up here. Hold on, I'm gonna switch. I have a hat on. Um, Sorry for the delay. I had a hat on that had a big bill in front that I forgot about. And it'll come right into view. And then you won't be able to see what I'm painting. And that is not good. <laughs> so I just changed that. All right. Okay, so we have everything set up here. And we're gonna go ahead and talk about the transfer process. So in your kit, you're gonna have a pencil that will come with it. And right now we're just going to be basically tracing right over the top. So you will be able to see your pencil line on top. A little bit of shadow here, let me shadow that in. And I always leave this part always free on the side so that I can come back in and check my work too. But that's very helpful. And then when I run out of transfer paper, I just kind of extend off to the side, just like that. Not much work there that needs to be done. So most people can handle that little line. And extend out. Right, let me just kind of check. All right, so we've got great start there. And then I'm going to go ahead and turn this a little bit. It's just easier for me to get these features. And I'm going to throw this in so it matches. Okay. 
flash point of the eye. Let's do this cute little nose. Roll that in. A nice big glare here. And then this is just shading just for you to kind of understand it's there. It, it's really going to just be painted over, but you could do a light little shade the same way that I shade here, side of the pencil. And kind of do that to give you a reference of it. Let's take a look. Do the rack. Okay, that looks really good. All right. So let me double check again just to be sure. I think we're good. So I can go ahead and lift this off. Now we also have a permanent marker in your kit. Yours will be brand new. You can use this too as an option. Yours will be brand new. Mine is currently very old. Well, let me trash. So these big shapes, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of this permanent marker work. And this is totally optional. I'm mainly doing it just so you can see it a lot better because it's so light. It helps you see it through the studio lights because it does get a little washed out. So this way, you're really going to be able to see the shape. Oh, let's just a second here. It's a little bit easier. The light sketch. Hopefully, go over that eye very carefully. And a little less for close through. All right. Awesome. Okay, so we have a great start. And let's go ahead and talk about some of the tools that we have. So you want to make sure you've got some water nearby. Uh, that's the only thing the kit really doesn't have there for you is water and something to place that in. But we do have the napkins here for you, your palette knife, your brush kit which would be some of my little family here. We've got mama, little buddy, little bit. And I've got some mixing plates here nearby. And then we've got our paint, okay? So let's go ahead and get this opened up. And then here. Okay. 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 
Okay. I have a lot of extra studio paint nearby, so I like to do a little extra. Okay, ready to go. Wonderful. I'm going to place these two tools off to the side once we are done with those. And I'm going to go ahead and start with my mama brush here. And we're just going to go ahead and place mama into the water a little bit. Many times it's stiff because it's brand new. And let's see, I'm going to go ahead and make some. gray that's happening here in the background. So the first two colors that we'll be using will be titanium white and Mars black. All right, so I'm going to take Mama and I'm going to pick up a little dollop of the white. I had some extra here off to the side. And then I'm going to do just a teeny amount, teeny touch of the black. We're going to mix those two together. And really quickly, let me go back to these since they are brand new. When you open these for the first time, they will have this silver liner on there. So you'll need to kind of pick that up a little bit, and then this will help you lift right off. And then whenever you're not using your paint, you want to make sure it's very important to recap. This will help preserve your paint for a really long time. You'll get a lot of uses out of these. So I've got my light gray here. So again, it was a bigger dollop of the white and just barely touch into that black, start small. But this is a nice medium gray. I'm going to go ahead and just do a little bit of a crisscross stroke, just back and forth to give some nice texture. Back and forth. And this texture that you're seeing over the top, that's going to be a technique that we would place onto the surface with our palette knife later on. So for right now, we're just trying to get a nice foundation with our gray paint. This is gonna be that nice base. And I can be a little bit just willy-nilly haphazard here. Just, but when you finish up with your second coat, you want to be a little bit more intentional with your pattern of your brush stroke. So I try to always come back in and do a nice little crisscross over the top. It feels like you make the letter X over and over and over again. But in the beginning, when you're getting that first coat down, just relax and just be in the present moment. Just paint into that surface without any really, con you know, no real concern for pattern. You're just getting acclimated to the paint. Get me a feel for it. Now you do need to be a little bit more cautious when you start cutting work. So with that, you can just hold the brush more like a pencil. And this will like it right next to that edge. And then when you're working out into the background, you want to turn that handle a little bit more over to the side. That'll give you the flat side of the brush and it gives you better coverage over that surface area. And then again, just remember lots of 
repetition with what feels like making the letter X open and open up again. And we have a little peekaboo of that gray right in here. Wonderful, I love it. Okay, now, uh, next step here is we're gonna still take our mama brush and I just cleaned it off just a little bit. Let's talk about that a little bit. So, head first into the water, firm pressure, circle round and round and round. That'll help clean the brush and then it'll just check to make sure it runs clear and go ahead and pull out and then lift off here and then dry off. All right, we're going to go ahead and start to work on um, the base here of the white. So it's mostly white, but it has just a hint of this gray quality to it and a little bit of a taupe quality too. So I'm going to go and take my primary yellow. Little key size, we'll start with that. And I'm going to take just a little tiny touch of this yellow, the white, a little bit of that black, a little bit more white, a little bit more of that yellow. It gives me a, that yellow will come in there, warm it up a little bit, and it makes it a little bit more of that taupe color. So it is mostly white in here, but I'm going to do a little touch of that. Almost looks like a cream. I'm going to do a little bit of that pure white again. So we're going to mix back and forth between those two. And again, we're just brushing in the foundation because you'll see it's a lot more textural here. But all that fun palette knife work will come in a little bit later on. So we want to get all of our brush work done first. And then we'll go ahead and work in this little ball here. Same thing. A little bit of white with that cream that we mixed up. And again, that cream is white with a teeny tiny amount of the black, just that hint of light gray. And then I added a teeny amount of yellow to it as well. And that brings in that kind of creamy color to it. Almost like an antique white. Oh, so very beautiful coloring there. And then we're gonna go ahead and work in the fur now. So we've got, we still have that little pea size amount of the yellow that we have cut. And I also need to mix up some brown to have nearby. I'm gonna place my mama here in the water. We are working with acrylic paints today. They do set up and dry very quickly. So we don't want them to dry out and turn your brushes into sticks. So always make sure you leave them in the water until you get a chance to rinse out. Lift off here. We're going to do a nice dime size amount of that orange. And I'm just going to use my little buddy as a little mixer here. I'm going to grab a little bit of this black. 
I'm going to start to add that into my orange. You can see how it's starting to turn into a brown. So there it is, lots of brown. Okay, lots of brown. That is very nice. We have our black that we can play with. We have this light cream that we can still work with. We're gonna need all those colors. We also still have our gray. We're going, to be, we're going to be using some of that. So you can start to see we've got these creamy tones and browns, and then I'll even add some white to the brown to make it a little bit lighter. Back with my Mama brush here. And I want to go ahead and make sure and separate this chin area. I don't want to lose that. So I'm going to do a little bit of black here with just a little bit of white. We're going to make like a dark charcoal gray. And I'm going to go ahead and kind of work that in little tiny strokes, almost like little dashes. We don't get, we do not want that to get obscured by the paint. We wanna make sure that that little line stays in there, separate the face shape there. And let's just barely come kind of underneath here. Tiny little line, little shadow underneath. Hold the brush a bit more like a pencil to come up underneath that hat. And then we're going to come back in here with a base, a little bit light here, so lots of light. And we've got that cream color that we mixed up, which again, is just white and that primary yellow and a teeny tiny amount of black. I got a little bit dark even just that. So I'm gonna add a little more white to it, a little bit of that yellow. And we can also add a little bit of water to it. I'm gonna start to work this into the face. And my gray is still a little bit wet, so it might pick up a little bit, but that's okay. I'm going to work into the large areas as much as I can, and then I'm going to switch over to a smaller brush. Okay, and then just hold the brush like a pencil. This will give you a light line edge. I've also got a little bit of water in this paint, so it has a little bit of this transparent quality to it, so I can still see, can still see it, the uh, sketch work that we did there with the marker. So that's a nice little helpful tip there to help keep that in place. You don't lose that. Going out here. Now I'm going to come back in with my little bit brush, and we're going to start to use a little bit more of this creamy color we mixed up. I'm going to hint more yellow to that to make it a bit more vibrant, and a little touch of that brown too. Grab some of that here. And then this paint's still wet. We're going to lightly just kind of go over the top. And then 
doing little dashes like a hair would grow here. We're going to start here because the hair is going in this direction. So I'm going to go up and up. A little bit of a diagonal. So up and to a diagonal and then add them to the center. And as we get over here to the side, we're going to go all over to the side here. And this is that color that is a little bit of the brown and that creamy color and the yellow in there. We have that mixed step that we just did. So we're going to take this kind of off to the side here. And then I'm going to touch into a little bit of white as I'll go to work that in. Just little soft curves. Kind of feels like you make the parentheses. This little soft curve here to the side. And then I'm going to come in with white here too. And go start from the nose and just kind of pull up. Up and then lift off with a white hand. Starting to make that little bit of hair texture. And it kind of shifts to a different direction here. So we go this way a little bit too. So I'm going to go short little strokes towards the eye and then shift down little tiny strokes, just kind of pushing into a little bit of that white. And that cream color up there. And right now we're going to stay with that cream color in here. We just kind of pull out to the side here with little tiny strokes. And then here underneath we'll do like little tiny like the curves. So we've got a little bit of that brown, which almost looks like you know, golden at this point because we mixed our brown with our cream and a little hint of yellow. We're just doing this. Yeah, it feels like little parentheses over and over again. Getting in the first layer of little bitty hairs here. Now, let's go ahead and start to fill in a little bit more white. Work that in over the top. Same stroke that we were just doing. That's going to softly blend it in. More white. A little close into that and then bring it back over. And if you need your brush to get thinned out on the edge too, you can put a little bit of water and do a little bit of a twirl like this. We've got a little bit of a soft gray happening in the shading. So I'm going to get a little bit of that black and that white and a little bit more white to lighten it up a little bit. So using little bit, smallest brush, a little twirl here into the pen. And just underneath here, I'm going to just sweep it underneath. Just echoing that same line there, but just sweeping it underneath here. And a little bit, tiny amount of water, do a little tap so you don't have too much water. Light here, I'm just gonna pull down, right? And just soft little curves, just working in. 
little bit little hair to run out of here. We have a little bit of that warm golden brown. Let's fill it in again. And we're going to do a little bit more of that dark charcoal gray. So that is our white and our black. A little bit brushed or a little twirl. I'm going to come up here near the edge. I'm actually going to add a little bit of water to this too, make it a bit more fluid, easier to work with. Make sure and add more of that water on the plate itself so that it doesn't get too watery on the canvas. Roll that down. We can work. Pull up, tiny little stroke. Then, then hot, just a little lift off with a light hand so it kind of papers nice and thin. And add a little bit more water to it here to help it be more fluid. Again, it's that darker charcoal gray. Now pulling that up. Come up through the center here, and then as we get to this side, we'll kind of switch the diagonal shift. And this side will go this direction. And then I'm going to grab a little bit more of this brown too with my. Gray, I didn't rinse out. We're just kind of working a little bit of that brown there. And we'll work this into those little patches that come in for the eyes. A little bit of water. Get that flow into that surface area. A little bit more of that dark charcoal gray. Let this to be a little bit more paper. Okay, so we'll come back into that one on town and come right next to the edge. And just do a soft blend into it. Still using that little bit brush or little twirl. Look around about here. Again, the texture, again, it just feels like soft curves, little short strokes, and then lift off with a light hand. So a lot of repetition. I'm going to have a little bit of white. I'm going to have a little bit of this. And a little bit of water. Get into a little bit of that charcoal gray, working that in. Look at the class here. A little bit of that. Let's 
still have that glass and I work that in underneath. Um, I'm going to get a water for a little cat. Let's make it more fluid, easier to work with there. And we will soften that up a little bit around the edge. So I rinsed out. Coming back in with these warmer, like the bright, this is that yellow with the cream and the brown. Put a little twirl into that. And we're going to come around the edge here and softly blend into it now with a bit of water. And on the edge, kind of work back into it with a little short strokes of the lighter tones. And a little bit of water. A bit more. I've got some water in my brush a little bit and the white, and I'm coming back up through the center. A little short strokes, lots of repetition, softly blending in a little bit more of the light highlights that come in through the center here. And bring that into the side. And then we're going to put those short strokes of that white on this side too. I'll go that yellow and that white. A little bit more white. Again, just a lot more repetition underneath. Little tiny strokes here. I'm going to come back in with that brown and work back into the white here into this little shape. Softly blend between the two. Just come around my eye. This soft transition between the two. And then a little bit more of that brown. Little tiny soft curve, those like parentheses, little tiny strokes. And that's out a little bit here. And then I'm going to go ahead and, you know, most of your, the way we blackened this in here with that permanent marker, that's going to hold up, but we're going to go over it with the paint just a little bit. So super delicate, tiny hand, hold it like a pencil, just kind of work into that very carefully. And then over the top here on this side. Then we have a very light, kind of a whitish. A little water that goes around. We'll make it kind of translucent, very translucent. So get lots of water into that brown we mixed up, very translucent. And then I'm going to take that and I'm going to run this over white here very carefully. So the white of the canvas kind of peeks through, giving it that translucent quality.
you can barely touch any of that space. Same thing here again, very watery. I'm just gonna barely touch, barely touch. So it's that very watery brown that was gonna get in place into that part right there. And gives the brown color of the eye. All right, and then the nose here. Actually, let me go to this one. I'm gonna do a solid black, so a little bit. And just go ahead and do some of this black line work here. And then I'm going to mix up some charcoal gray again for the inside of the nose. And a little bit of water, a little bit more light. We're going to lighten up just a little bit here. Right there. And then we'll look that into this nose shape. And we'll come back in with that white highlight like we see here, but we're going to get this foundation first. This one. And then very carefully, just kind of come around the little nostril area there. I'm going to add a little bit of water to make this more fluid, easier to move, and then a little twist into that darker gray paint. And then we'll just hold the brush like a pencil and continue to look around this little shape here. All right, so we're going to go, we've cleaned off a little bit here. We're going to go back into some pure white. And we're going to just run a little highlight here over the top. Back a little bit more that darker gray. Well, even darker, I'm a little bit more black now. We're going to come under the base here. Let's do a thin line of this darker purple. A little soft curve. And then we're going to do another little soft curve of that darker gray underneath here. Shadow. Let's add a little bit of water to that over here and a little bit of water. This underneath makes it soft and easy to blend into. And then we we'll do another, just weave the crosshair with that darker. Okay, it gives that little shadow. Wipe that out. And come back into this white and a little bit of that cream up here. I'm just kind of barely touch in there and then pull this down. Any little touches. Put this up to the side again with the light. And softly blend in about the soften it. And the light here. 
Okay, I'm back out and those little hair textures again. Let's go for bread. Let's this in here. I'm going to come in again with that softer dark gray and just kind of sweep in around the white here. Give a little bit of a soft transition there. Another soft sweep of blending. And then I'm going to come back in. It just sets up a little bit with a bit more of that white highlight over the top. And then a little bit more of this white and clean. Going back in over the top, soften this a little bit. Little bit and then just a little soft touch here of this white. So it's a little bit of this. And then we're going to take a little bit again and a little bit more of just pure black. And we're going to work in over the top here of the nostrils. And we force our smile a little bit here. A little bit more of that cream color, a little bit of our water. And soft, we'll go over this a little bit here too, soften that out a little bit. And then Go back over with a little bit of hair character, so for our first strokes. We'll talk the right hand. A little bit of that water and that creamy color. And again, just kind of working back in over the top of the brown here with that watery stroke, kind of softly. Better that in. And then we'll come back in with the brown too and work back in reverse too a bit. Of it. Squeegee it out on a plate here and we'll bring it in. And rinse out. Come back in with that light cream, a little bit of water. 
for all the brush. And that's where that's where the rest of your dogs are gonna start. All right, so now we can start to work into a little bit of the fur down here. It's looking really good. So I've got some more of this shadow here. I'm going to make sure and do a little bit more of this water in my black here. I want to make sure I've got that shadow in place. Same thing here against that very dark black, a lot of water, just creating that little shadow and we here. A little bit here around. Well, not like a snowball, but it kind of is that little snowball look on the end of the same head. sketch of shadow there. I'm going to go ahead and start to use a bigger brush. So let's rinse out, dry off. Let's go back to Mama. And we're going to pick up bigger chunks of the brown and the black. Fold out. And that shadow. We're getting a little bit of white to our brown too and our black. A little bit of white into the brown and the black. And as we start to push this in, it's like tiny little diagonal short strokes just back and forth. And again, a little bit of water to help that flow into those white areas of the canvas. Shadow coming in. Furs a little darker. Working all that in to begin with right here. A little bit of white with the black and the brown. Now I'm going to rinse out because we start really lightening that really. So I've got, let's see, let's grab a little bit more of this primary ribbon. Okay. Over to that. I know this cadmium yellow could be. Nice in there as well. And that's my little handle. There it was. Okay. We'll do a little piece size of that, of that over here. And I'm going to mix up another amount of brown. So let's work on this a little bit. I'm gonna color off of it. So let's use a uh, little buddy. Let's grab some black, mix that with our orange. That's gonna make it more brown. We're kind of run a little low, so I'm gonna mix up more of that. Scrape off that excess, leave that over here to the side. Put 
that's out. And then I want to go ahead and take, I'm going to take little buddy, mix up some yellow with our white, a little bit of black. I want to get that cream, that taupe color happening, a little bit more of that to work with here. And a little bit of that brown in there too is nice. So we've got that to work with too. All right, so now we have a lot more of this to work with that's very helpful. And I can start to just kind of push this in little tiny strokes. And I'm also going to push in just pure white as I go too. There's a lot of that, it's just like a highlight. And then I'm going to grab a little bit more of that and that brown. And just while this is wet, just really make sure that those are softly blended together. So it's not just a hard line. And work back into it. There's that cup color that we mixed up, which again is the yellow, the brown, the white, a little bit of that black makes that gray quality in there. It's working back and forth with wet paint to wet paint to do the dark shadow in with the light. A little soft curves. I'll bring up some here in the center too. A little touch of our white cream and the taupe. A little bit more of that white. Little short strokes. Always a little bit more wide than you think, too. Just kind of pushing that back in. Little short strokes. I'm going to grab some more cotton in the mail over here. I'm going to warm this up on the side. It's very bright. I'm making that cream. Go all that back out again. So do it a bit. One short curves. Now a little bit of one, soften this a little bit, and let's do more of that for me. That brown soft curves pull it down here. A little bit of the black too. A little bit of that shadow.
Back and short strokes, just back and forth. And again, lots of blending between from wet paint to wet paint. So we're going from black to light. We're going back and forth, crisscrossing a bit. Black. Short strokes underneath, look it's fair. Mm -hmm. You need to wrap up too. Right now, I'll rinse out a little bit here. I'm liking a little bit more of that white. It's more of that line edge with the brush, soft little first strokes. Solid white now, I'm just gonna give this a little time. Kind of soft curves, lots of repetition. And the creams, Kathy's gonna work that back in here just a little bit. Add up just a little bit there. You know that winter light. Oh, let's get all of our brushes clean. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, now we're going to do a little bit of our red here. So we've got a cool red happening with a crimson. We're going to take our cadmium red to start with, which is fairly warm. So we're going to be adding some of this primary magenta to that to cool it off. Another plate here I'm going to use. Your kit also has two plates, so we're good. So there's a total of plates. We'll step up here on this one. Let's go ahead and get our primary magenta out here. Another little dime sized dollop of that. We're going to rinse, or no, sorry, we're going to mix these two together primary magenta and cadmium red. That'll give me a nice cool red. So we'll start with that, and then we come in with the black, it's going to pull it to a little bit of a crimson as well. Okay. And we're going to work this into that beautiful little pan of that. Just back and forth for right now. Mm. 
use a little batting brush to go ahead and work this into the shade. I'm just going to fill all this in first. All right, so as you push in this direction with the handle going down, it can scrape a lot of that paint off. So in order to get a nice opaque finish, you can turn your handle more over to the side. This gives you a light, gentle hand, allows a lot more of that paint to just rest right on the surface area. Nice coverage there. And then rip out. I'm gonna come in now with some of that black. So we're going to use a little bit brush now and let's grab some water. And a little We're gonna do a little lift off of my hands. So we pull from down here, the little line pulled up, lift off of the right hand. Come in this direction, we're going to increase this that way. I looked off the right hand, but I'm also going to just kind of outline. Put water in that crimson black. Sketch, scribble a little bit. Here, and that wire black. I'll find this a little Back in there, so we'll get a pattern. And we have other little wrinkles kind of happening in the hat, so we're going to just kind of place those. A few of those kind of random things there. And then I'm going to rinse out. Go back in to our right and our primary magenta. It's going to work softly over that black that we just did. We kind of softly mix it together. Just barely touch them up. You can see a big dog with that on that brush. You can softly lay that next to it to get a soft blend. Mm 
I'm going to put it in front of that. And then I'm going to come back in with my little buddy here and just a little bit more of that, this pure white here. Line up next to the edge. Sweep in some of that pure white right in between. Drag it across. And a little bit of that here, too. So I have a little bit of that texture. Little tiny short curve strokes. Tiny pulls there for upper. Little tiny pulls. Getting that texture on the outside of that. Okay, let's see here. Um, it's just really right about time for palette and I, but I do want to go over. We have our little whites that were just, they remained in, in good shape there. But if you need to do a little bit of that touch of white over the top, just in case, here's a little trick. You can use the end of the handle here. Touch down into the white paint, just like that there a little bit on the edge and then you just touch straight down to make that little white flash point of light brings a lot of personality to the eyes all right now we can do a lot of that fun texture too so this is our palette knife and you want to get out some white and if you have to spread it into a thinner layer, you can, because you do want to make sure it's just completely covering like this flat side here. And then I'm going to go ahead, and this is always a little different every time I do this painting. So I'm just going to pull down because it's, you know, it's got that texture to it. So it won't be the same every time. This way. It has that abstracted look of like a little bit of snow in the background, but just fun palette knife. Or you can just do a little quick drag there as you touch. So you touch down and then drag it. Almost this one. A little better angle here. You have to you know, rub it a little bit horizontal too if you want to play with that one here. Little angle. Pick up a little gold there, but that's okay. It's kind of fun if that happens. No worries. A little bit of whimsy. I'm just going to add a little bit of that here in the background. Just kind of drag it down. 
Then I'm going to add a little bit of that same white texture here in the hat. So I'll kind of take a little bit here on the tip and put right next to that edge. And drag it across. With that hollow a little texture. You can add a few of these little strokes of the white here in the ball here as well. Just a little touch and then spread it a little bit. You can also do a little bit of texture here. So I'm gonna grab some of that cream. And I'm just going to pull, pull down a little bit, a little bit of that texture. And you can also do this with the brown too, so you can grab some of that texture. And I'm just going to do a little quick pulls with that to give it some of that nice texture and that the set so you can see that better. And then as an option, it might still very wet in here, but again, as an option, you can also use more of your cadmium red and your primary benzene. Mix those two together and do tiny little fishes of more texture in your hat as well. So that's certainly um, something you could add as well. And then we have a little bit of some fine spray happening, which is a nice fun touch. Well, let's talk about how to do that. So I'm gonna grab some of my water here. We're gonna do it into the white. Lots of water, lots of water. You can practice somewhere too before you just start doing this. And then I'm gonna take my mama, hold it out here. And I'm just gonna do a little tap, tap, tap. It's that little sprinkle. It's a lot of water in that white. And it just looks like a little bit of that spray. I'm gonna do it here too. Go into that water and that white and just tap, tap, tap. I'm going to stay away from the face just in case. You don't want to disrupt any features. So I'm going to take it around the edges though. All right. So, I think we are done here with our beautiful Santa sloth painting. So cute. And then what I recommend is a little bit easier. You can use your permanent marker to do your signature here. So you just want to make sure this is completely dry because wet paint will just kill a Sharpie instantly. So I'm going to go ahead and do it with a little this is all dry. Do my little signature. Right, and we are all good. So there it is. Ta-da. Looks beautiful. So again, thank you all so much for joining me today. I had so much fun. This is our little Santa sloth. All the tools that you need for this come with our painting kit, and you can find it at tipsyartist.com and just click on painting kits or online classes. But y'all have a wonderful rest of the day and we'll see you soon. Toodles. Love y'all.